On our beautiful planet, oceans cover over 70% of the Earth's surface. 94% of the Earth's living species exist within the oceans. UFOs in our oceans to some may seem crazy, but if you think that only 5% of the Earth's oceans have been explored, who knows what can be discovered? The oceans are so vast that the world's largest mountain chain is found underwater. The mid-ocean ridge stretches for 65,000 kilometres and has been less explored than the surface of Venus or Mars. Over 240,000 accepted species exist within our oceans, with more being discovered every single day. On land, trees are incredibly important in the ecosystem. But what you may not know is between 70 and 80% of the oxygen we breathe is produced by marine plants. With so many UFO sightings and UFO culture in the USA, what is also an incredible fact and maybe an answer to the question of where they come from and go to is that around 50% of the US lies beneath the ocean. Maybe in some dark, deep part of our ocean may hold some answers to the huge questions do UFOs exist and possibly aliens and do they reside beneath the waves? Navy Commander David Fravor retold a story on Joe Rogan's podcast. The pilot of a Navy Sea Dragon based at Roosevelt Roads Naval Station, Puerto Rico, had two encounters with UFOs in the ocean. In the first incident, his team attempted to retrieve a flying practice drone. He saw a dark mass underwater, which he described as big and kind of circular. He observed it as not being a submarine. In the second sighting, he was sent to collect a practice torpedo as he reached it, it was sucked down into the depths by a similar object to the first. After the report was made public, a 79-year-old woman contacted the commander to explain that her father was also a naval officer who was based at the naval station in San Francisco in the 1950s. When she was a kid, she saw a telegram that stated unidentified objects had been seen rising in and out of the water at an undisclosed location. The father told her that this had been a regular occurrence. Commander Fravor took an interest in these eyewitness testimonies because he himself had an encounter. He viewed a tic-tac shaped object hovering above a strange larger object which was underwater. He described it as a cross shaped about the size of a Boeing 737 jetliner. He also said the water above it was boiling and frothing and disappeared soon afterwards. In 1957, the crew aboard a Japanese fishing boat, the Kitsukawa Maru, spotted two metallic silvery objects descend from the sky into the ocean. They were estimated to be 10 metres long and without wings. In 1963, during anti-submarine warfare exercises in the Atlantic Ocean, 500 miles from Puerto Rico, the aircraft carrier WASP led a small fleet of ships when a sonar operator noticed one of the submarines had broken formation and taken up pursuit of some unknown object. At first they thought it was part of the exercise, but that was forgotten when the unidentified object was clocked, travelling at over 150 knots. According to reports, no less than 13 craft, including anti-submarine patrol aircraft, tracked the high-speed object for four days as it manoeuvred around to depths of up to 27,000 feet. Off the coast of Half Moon Bay, California in 2007, a witness reported seeing three UFOs whilst aboard a cruise ship. She told of three softly glowing objects, uniform in size and spherical, flying evenly spaced in a line next to the ship, hovering above the water. They didn't disturb the water as they travelled. They accelerated away and the left craft suddenly dove into the water and disappeared. A logged report from California in 2019 near Imperial Beach 
stated that an object which looked like a small white boat flew up out of the water to about 500 feet accelerated away at high speed. Another famous incident happened in 1967 at Shag Harbour, Nova Scotia. Local residents on the night of October 4th noticed strange orange lights in the sky. There were many different witnesses that night. The low flying lights headed towards the harbour before crashing into the sea. It was first reported to the RCMP as a plane crash by a Mr. Laurie Wickens. They could see the lights drifting in the water. A co-pilot of a cargo plane heading to London also witnessed the event from the air. He described a formation of lights in the sky. At first they thought they would have to dodge the UFO. It looked like a B-52 or maybe a Boeing 707 in size. Instead of crossing past the plane, the lights just hung in place. Now all three pilots looked on uncertain as to what they were witnessing. They radioed for air traffic control, but the object did not show up on radar. Several other members of the community saw the event and many made to the crash site to try and rescue survivors. Including the Coast Guard and even Navy were involved. All that could be found was a yellowish orange foam, inches thick in the water. No wreckage or survivors have ever been found. A local diver for years has been surveying the ocean floor looking for evidence of the crash. He claims to have located a dinner plate shaped depression, perfectly round with a covering of small pebbles. In the area there were no big rocks, plants or creatures. This remains one of the most well documented UFO incidents ever. The incidences of UFOs and the ocean may or may not be visitors from another world. Maybe as technologies improve and we explore and understand our oceans more, we may find the answers that we seek. If you've enjoyed this video, like it by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe for more great paranormal videos. I thank you very much for watching.